when we get to a fundamental condition, the fundamental nature of existence, not just an existence, but of existence, we're, we're talking more than just a state or a condition. What we're talking about is some kind of absolute logic. We're talking about in terms of like a matrix, you know? We're talking about the ultimate matrix, not one that's designed, not one that you could change, okay? Change occurs through distinction, the change that we think, that's distinction. And maybe there is a change. It could be accurate to describe things in terms of a change. It doesn't matter. It occurs through distinction, okay? Change or not, complex or simple, it's always going to be connected to existence. It's always going to be of an existence, and it's always going to be from an existence. So, so what we have is we have something that's absolute. And the best way I was able to describe it and talk about it and work with it is by describing it as a potential, describing it in terms of potential. And... Um, it's indefinite, infinite, but I still prefer, even using those terms, which m most of us could understand, I still like to use the word absolute. So it's an absolute potential. Existence is an absolute potential. It always has been an absolute potential. And the logic of it, and the reasoning which you can draw from the logic, can show you this how or it can give you can give us a good understanding of the nature of how of its nature which for example would be if I were to destroy existence I would need there to still be something that exists in order for me to move from one condition to another that other condition that other place okay is always is, is still some kind of place that's connected to existence and hopefully you, you could understand what I'm getting at because it would because it does okay to be fair take a considerable amount of review and discussion to to really flesh that out but uh, another popular uh, conversation I usually have is even nothingness is still a condition is still a, 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 a kind of existence and stuff. Um, and some people say, well, I, I want a, tr a true nothingness. A, 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 there, you see, there can be no place. Well, it's not a place. It's just, it's just nothing. It's just, you know? So it's tricky because if, there, if it's not a place and it really is just a nothing, okay, then by definition it doesn't exist it's nothing it's so there's it so we still move by default to what does exist so now you're trying to tell me well there's no place ever to move to okay i i need to wipe all of that out and um i don't one i i don't think and i i don't believe that existence can be wiped out because I think that something always has to exist in order to, even in order to, ha to not have an existence, something has to exist in order to wipe that out. And, um, and once you wipe that out, in order for it to remain wiped out, something has to exist. And it works like this. It works, <clears throat> it works in terms of, 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 of the possibility, okay? The only way that we can wipe out existence in its entirety so that there is no such thing as existence anymore is if there is the possibility to do so. Okay? So long as there's a possibility, it can happen. But so long as there's a possibility, something still exists. Okay. Let us say that it's a process, a hierarchy. Okay, so yes, for that particular instance or in that state, there is the possibility. Then the possibility takes effect and, and, and the effect or the result is the elimination of all of existence. 
in order for existence to remain eliminated, gone forever, that possibility must still remain qualified. That law of that physic must still remain qualified, must still be upheld. Otherwise, an existence would poof right back in. Or you wouldn't be able it wouldn't be able to take effect at all. Some structure, some some law must remain constant in order for that pro possibility to be acted out and in order for that possibility to be upheld. So if we do want to maintain an order to it, a, 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 then once all that existence is gone and there nothing exists whatsoever, then also what doesn't exist is the possibility of there not being a, any existence of any kind. Once that possibility doesn't exist, then it's not possible for there to be no existence. See what I'm saying? So all, all, don't be afraid. So although it looks like we're playing with semantics, fight through that. Fight through it. We're not playing with semantics. In there is the truth. Okay? You cannot eliminate existence because in order to even eliminate existence, if we want to use those terms, in order to eliminate existence, you need some form of existence. Something will always exist. Evil will never win. Anything that opposes existence will never win. Whatever terms you want to use, the end will never happen. Existence will always exist. Existence has always existed. It's a beautiful thing. Have faith in it.